All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and to do well, as well as peace, blessings, and many salutations to the election and the sincere believers in general, both men, women, and children. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, broke a thumb to you, brothers and sisters. Lord, what in this lesson is edifying unto the flock. All right, and I'm going to entitle this lesson infinite ways to live all right you see infinite ways to live right you have a tv show called a thousand ways to die right where the focus you know the focal point in that show is what death the the horrible horrendous terrible frightening you know thought that people link with quote unquote death all right and um you know that's that's majority of people oh the end right <laughs> a frightening thing you know whether it be chewing you know or, or uh, choking on a piece of bubble gum all right you know uh, um, you know d dying in a fatal car accident all right you know falling down you know taking taking a wrong you know, step on the stairs and falling down two flights of stairs and landing on your neck and, you know, whatever the case may be, a stray bullet, right? These are these are the things that people, you know, worry about, all right? And when, when within that worrying, you know, you're giving your power over to what? Death. You're giving your fear unto who? Another. Rather than the ultimate omnipotent power that we serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai man you see so there's infinite ways to live all right we can't put the heavenly father in a box it's disrespectful to do so honestly and you know within the, the scriptures there's many different accounts wherein you know obviously it takes faith and belief which we have all right we have Okay, but it takes faith and belief to believe that particular things happened that are written within the scriptures, but nevertheless, they're written. Why? For examples unto us in these latter days. All right. So, you know, in the times we're living in, essentially, there's there's going to be loss, right? We have to give up. Everything for you, how about Shemiel Shai, and be willing to give up everything. That should be our mindset already, you know, this this far in this thing. And for any newcomers who, who may be listening, all right, definitely something to develop, all right? It takes time, it takes practice, all right? But you'll begin to see how, you know, it's something that's absolutely necessary, especially considering the times that we're approaching you know they're literally right here right so i'm gonna start off with this in psalms chapter 19 all right and verse 14 okay because you know yahabah shimiao shai knows our intentions he knows our heart which you know essentially goes into our mind our thoughts you know a matter of fact Salakia This just popped into my mind So I'm going to go ahead and grab this Really quick The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai For this precept Alright So this is the book of Jeremiah Chapter 29 And verse 11 It says For I know the thoughts that I think toward you Saith the Lord Yahweh thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end you see and this goes into what you know that the essentially you know Sirach the second chapter who called upon the Lord and was forsaken you know who trusted in him and and, and you know was overlooked you know loosely paraphrasing all right they that believe must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him you know even in especially in 
time of trouble and tribulation because that's when majority of people will what fold under that pressure cave in right start to think the worst okay which these are going to be thoughts after all we're in this flesh when we're presented in certain situations in the times to come absolutely these are going to be thoughts that cross our mind but you know does it cross your mind and you just kind of sit there and ponder upon that or are you just going to wait patiently upon Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and expect that deliverance? You know, it's important that we that we you know consider our mindset in uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and that's why I wanted to go and open up. But this, you know, the spirit had to do what it does. All right, I wanted to open up with this Psalms nineteen and fourteen. All right. Because, you know, Hebrews, the 13th chapter talks about it, too. The sacrifice of our lips, you know, so what we say, what we do, our intentions, our mindset is is something that the Heavenly Father is looking upon. You know, you can have a good lip service game and, you know, you can have, uh, uh, you know, the things that can be seen by men. It might look right. But internally, if you're not if you're not right. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai sees that, man. And, and, and all things shall come to the light at the end of the day. So it's going to be revealed when it's all said and done. Whether you were or whether you weren't. Whether you one of those that were his or one of those that weren't. Right? So without further ado, I know I'm kind of rambling on a little bit. But, you know, the spirit just doing what it does. Uh, Psalms 19 and 14. All right, it says, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh, my strength and my redeemer. You see? My strength and my redeemer. The meditation of my heart. You see? The meditation of my heart. Let's grab, let's grab, um, actually, I don't have any service, all right? But to med have med meditation is to think upon, all right? And yet again, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai can't be put in a box. He wants you to think outlandishly, crazily, you know? High level, you see? Spiritual and, 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 and divine intervention is coming for those with the correct mindset, all right? It says, in the meditation of my heart, right? Remember, heart means mind. La'ab in the Hebrew, which really goes into what? Your mind, your thoughts. You know? It says, let them be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh, my strength and my redeemer. And a redeemer is what? A savior. All right? Because what? We're going to need that saving in, in, the, in the perilous times to come. Okay? So mindset is absolutely key. Mindset is absolutely key. Now I'm going to jump to... Isaiah 59 and 19. All right. Because it goes into that standard. Right. And, and, and most will stop. I'm, I'm going to read the precept. Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. See, most people would stop there. E kicking in your door. Yelling at you. Demanding this and that of you. Right? You've been on the run. You're one wanted fugitive amongst the, you know, all across the U.S. And they finally, they finally catch you. Oh, man, the most high must not be dead. See that? See how most people would, would, would switch? But see, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, we got to understand, until, until A, we're either getting beamed up in that chariot, or B, we're translated to the other side, all right? Until we be raised up again, Adawan Rathazah, all right? We have to have that particular mindset that, what, trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, thinking of life, you see? It says Isaiah 50, 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against them. See, 
So the spirit we have, and that's something we should be praying about or and praying on daily that the Lord, you know, thanking him for keeping the spirit upon us and asking him, keep the spirit upon me in the days to come in hardship, in adversity. I pray, I think upon you, right? Because it's going to be crucial that we have that spirit upon us. It doesn't matter how many breakdowns we know, how many, how much knowledge we have. But if the spirit of the Lord is not with us when it's all said and done, it's a wrap. So, but I mean, what is your expected end, right? The Lord said in Jeremiah 29, it's of peace and not of evil. Sure, he's going to put the flame to our feet. We're going to have little, you know, try. I don't want to say little. We're going to have being trying situations but what again what are your thoughts towards you how about Shimei Shai will they be acceptable you know now it was a precept that came to mind um let's see uh Uh, somewhere in John, but I, I already had one preset for John. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And if nothing else comes to me, we'll go ahead and close out. But I want to get this account with Yahweh Shai and, um, you know, the woman in the well. All right. Um, John 4 and. Uh, uh, we'll start at 11. There's a little more to it, but we can just start at 11. All right, just to get to the point, John 4 and 11, it says, The woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou the living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Yahweh answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Right? But it says, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. And, you know, Isaiah, the 44th chapter comes to mind, you know, that the, the, the Lord said he would water the soil, you know, pour water upon thy seed. Think about the miracles that we've already received thus far. Fitting that Revelation 11, fitting that Ezekiel 37, going into what? Being raised up upon our feet, an exceeding and great army, having that breath of life, which is what? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. You talk to regular Jake in the world, they don't, they, they just, they don't have it, man. They don't have the means to try to comprehend life, you see? And that's what we have through Yahweh's side, man. Life. Everlasting life, see, but we have to hold on to it, you know. We can't let anything uh, deter us from the path and the correct mindset. Everything starts like Elder Ariala always goes into the mindset, everything starts with a thought, you see. What are your thoughts, man? Is it is it thoughts of death? Is it thoughts of a, a horrible ending, or is it thoughts of life? standard being lifted you see but we've received the the word essentially which is yahweh side we've received the truth of the scriptures man you understand how powerful that is and we're at the end man all right so i just you know really the point being made through the spirit um i feel like that's a good closing point you know our our thoughts are are very important in, in what we're thinking about, whether it be of life or, or whether it be of death, these things will manifest themselves over time. All right. So pour your energy into the one that you want the most. All right. Giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakudash, double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and many salutations to the elect. Shalom.